Hey, this is Nate with Little Brock. Uh, today we're going to do a quick video on how to check your O2 sensor uh, with the ProFlow 4 fuel injection system. So on the dyno right now, we've got our 72 Chevelle wagon. Uh, we're running our uh, supercharged LS under the hood, our ProFlow 4 ECU mounted on the firewall. So I've already gone ahead and taken the sensor out of the exhaust in this car. Uh, normally you'd be doing this maybe with a car on jack stands or on a lift, you'd probably be underneath the car. I've got the sensor here in the engine bay um, hooked up to our wiring, wired up to the ECU. So that's why the sensor's up here and we're not under the car. It's strapped down to the dyno right now and I'm gonna do this from up here. So the only tool you really need to check the O2 sensor is just a cigarette lighter. So the one thing to know about this sensor, this is a Bosch LSU 4.9 sensor. Uh, that may not mean a lot to you, but what it does mean is that it's an OEM grade sensor um, that'll, you know, on most modern stock OEM cars will last hundreds of thousands of miles. So generally you'll get tens of thousands of miles out of a sensor. So usually these don't go out. They usually last a pretty long time. But if for some reason um, it becomes suspect in its readings, this is how you would check it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on the ignition. Ignition is on. I'm going to turn on the tablet. All right, so in the tablet, what we're gonna go ahead and do is get connected. So we're gonna tap the red X. Now we got a green check mark. We're gonna go into gauge displays, digital display, and we're gonna be watching this channel right here, AFRs. I'm gonna take our O2 sensor, which is starting to get pretty hot, and our cigarette lighter. Now all I gotta do is open the gas valve on the lighter, hold it up against the sensor, and you'll see that the AFR reading on the tablet starts going really rich, 11 to one. So once it goes that rich, you can uh, take the lighter away. And after a moment, we'll give the sensor a little fresh air, it'll start showing full lean again. All right, so we'll repeat the test, take the lighter, open the valve, hold it up against the sensor. AFRs go rich, take it away, and it goes back lean. That's it. This is really just a simple kind of go, no go test. Um, if the sensor warms up and if it reacts to the butane, then your sensor is good. Thanks for watching, guys.